right, so uh, good morning. Um, it is actually currently 3.26 a.m. So I am actually still up from the previous night and I am knocking out my second edit that I did last night, today, whatever you wanna call it. This is going to be a day in the life using the new 14 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro. I'm super excited and I actually just exported this video and I actually timed it. This video took five minutes and 58 seconds to export. And this video is a nine and a half minute video um, with two Sony cameras, an FX3, a Sony a7S three, multiple layers. We have LUTs, effects, a bunch of stuff. And this thing just murdered the export. So this is my first video I've edited on this new MacBook and we are off to a great start. Start. So I'm actually uploading this video right now. I'm gonna get a few hours of sleep and then we're really gonna get this video started. So sit back, relax, make sure you guys drop this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the morning. Um, yeah, that was not a full night's rest. All right, so between me and you, I'm not always running out first thing in the morning to go grab coffee, but between the fact that I was up so late last night and I'm filming a YouTube video for you guys, I figured why not go all out? So I decided to hit up my favorite local coffee shop here in town. Um, here in Ohio, we call it Starbucks. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of it before, but no, in all seriousness, I do love Starbucks. I am basic, so you know what? I'm just gonna embrace that. Oh right, yeah, can I do one tall uh, pumpkin spice latte? Actually, can I do two of the turkey bacon cheddar an egg white. You end up getting like the new Apple phone? Yeah. iPhone? How is it? It's pretty sick actually. All right, so I got a grande oat milk vanilla latte for myself. And then for my girlfriend, I got a tall pumpkin spice latte. And a pro tip for any of you content creators out there who we know we have late hours, late nights sometimes, early mornings, make sure you do something nice for your significant other. They put up with a lot of crap. This is the aftermath of working on thumbnails and knocking out two YouTube videos after a work day yesterday. So I'm gonna get this next YouTube video ready to post and then we're gonna clean up this office. Now, in case you guys aren't super familiar with my channel or my home office or desk setup, things like that, I usually do most of my video editing when I am hooked up to this ultra wide monitor here. I just love having that wide real estate when I'm doing, you know, creative work. Now, I've usually had my MacBook previously, you know, in the clamshell mode, so I'm not using the display of my MacBook when it's docked. But because of the fact that this MacBook, the display is so amazing, I really want to utilize that. So I'm gonna to have to kind of figure out how to do that more in the future. So this is just kind of like my temporary solution to have it there just sitting next to the monitor. But yeah, you know, this is really my first day sitting down, getting to work on this new device. And man, I was pushing it to the limit, honestly. I was watching multiple YouTube videos. I was editing photos in Lightroom. I had Photoshop open, working on thumbnails. Also, I was editing a YouTube video as well. And I had like 20 tabs open in Chrome. And this thing did not skip a beat. So I decided to actually mirror my project monitor onto my MacBook display since that display is so amazing. It's super color accurate. And man, you can even kind of see in this shot right here, the color difference between the two. Obviously it's gonna be a little bit different on the camera than in real life, but there definitely is a noticeable difference. The LG is pretty good, but man, this display on this computer is just so amazing. And man, I am so excited to have this SD card slot back. You know what, drop this video a thumbs up if you guys are excited about that as well. All right, so this video is about to go live, but I wanted to show you guys this here real quick. So especially at the start of this video, I have a bunch of effects that would bring my M1 MacBook Pro to its mercy. Like I couldn't even play it back. And on this MacBook, I don't even have to pre-render this stuff. It just starts playing it back immediately, no problem. And meanwhile, I have Lightroom open, editing photos for thumbnail. And then I also have Photoshop open, um, trying out some different thumbnail options. So I have all that stuff open simultaneously, being able to play this stuff back without a problem at all. And even while I was exporting this thing, I was working on thumbnails, editing photos, had Chrome open with like 30 tabs, and this seriously didn't miss a beat. So crazy, crazy impressed so far. All right, so the new YouTube video on the new AirPods is about to go live. I have two minutes. Whenever a new video goes live, that means I have to post it on YouTube, make sure I post about it on Twitter, post about it on Instagram, post about it on Instagram stories, update my bio on Instagram. So basically it's a bunch of stuff I have to do real quick and it's always kind of a rush, but I'm making sure I use my MacBook 
as an actual MacBook some today. I don't wanna just have it docked and like hooked up to my ultra wide the entire time. That is how it is a lot. I do want to make sure I use it enough, kind of like a normal laptop and see how I like it and really kind of test out the screen because it looks absolutely amazing. But let's get this video posted and kind of let everyone know a new video is live. All right, so actually, Funny story, I thought I was done with that video. I posted it, everything was going great, but I had a giveaway in that video, and I guess on YouTube, you can't have people comment their at or their Instagram handle. So I had to refilm that part of the video, and I'm actually re-exporting it right now, and look at this thing. I mean, I'm so glad I have this new computer, because look at this, the export time is gonna take it's gonna focus there like under five minutes, which on my old MacBook, I feel like it would have taken at least like 30 or 40 minutes. So this thing is blazing fast and this is super annoying, but at least I'm gonna be able to re-upload it very quickly here. All right, so video is posted in live and by the time this video you guys are watching comes out, you'll still have time to enter that giveaway to win a pair of the AirPods 3. So just check out that AirPods video. I'll have it linked up here and you guys can enter that giveaway. But now time to actually shower and kind of get a little refresh for the day. Now, it was definitely time for me to get out of my office for a minute. I feel like I was in there all morning long, so time for a little lunch. I've been trying out these meals by a company called Freshly, or I think it's Freshly Fit. Um, but yeah, they're super easy. It's like a meal prep company, healthy meals. They actually taste really good. And at this point, I'm just gonna sit down in our kind of kitchen living room area, throw on a little YouTube video, um, check out this amazing looking display. I mean, look at this, it looks so good. Now this is probably one of my favorite parts of the day is just eating some food and catching up on some of my favorite creators content. It's just kind of a nice way to break up your day. And then I'll also probably throw in responding to some YouTube comments and just a little bit of other admin work as well. We definitely got to take a note on how good this keyboard sounds. So now that I got some food in me, we are off to shoot a little bit of Instagram content. I'm really trying to up kind of my social media content in general. So whether it be Instagram photos or short form vertical content. So I'm trying to make some specific shoots, even if it's just a tiny little mini shoot, going somewhere with the intent to shoot some cool content. And that's what we're doing here. So I'm headed over to one of my favorite local coffee shops here in town. It's called Fox in the Snow. They have the best coffee and the best pastries, like seriously, hands down, just so good. Now, I feel like it's an unwritten rule that you have to go to a coffee shop to really get the full experience of your new MacBook Pro. But no, it was nice to get out of the house a bit and really just kind of unplug and get some work done in a different location. As you can tell, I was surrounded by a lot of windows in this coffee shop and this display looked amazing. It was bright enough and the colors looked so good on it. Now, even though I didn't have a ton of time at this coffee shop, I was able to grab a couple photos for Instagram as well as a couple clips to kind of put together an Instagram reel. And it was just nice having that SD card slot so I could just quickly put in the SD card, kind of review my photos real quick, and that's that. So yeah, I absolutely loved kind of using this in a different environment, and I can see myself working like this a ton in the future. All right, well that did not go quite as planned. I feel like that's how most things go, so you just gotta go with the flow. Um, but they actually closed 25 minutes after I got there. I didn't really realize that. So um, I grabbed a couple cool photos, maybe a little bit of B-roll. We'll see kind of what I can get out of it. But I think I'm happy with a few things I was able to grab. So let's head home and get back to the office where honestly, I spend most of my time, let's be honest. These new MacBook Pros are seriously incredible. Apple truly delivered on what us creators wanted out of this device. Now, yes, there's a notch. Personally, it doesn't bother me. I'm more excited about all of our ports. We have MagSafe, Thunderbolt 4, HDMI, and my personal favorite, the SD card slot, because if you're a content creator on the go, that's what you need. Now this is actually a teaser for a video I am dropping this week showing you guys how I personally use this new M1 Max. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. You don't wanna miss this. All right, so when your girlfriend asks if you wanna get Chick-fil-A for dinner, obviously you say yes. So we got a little spicy chicken sandwich. No pickles, of course. Pickles are just the worst thing ever. Little fry, and then also a cookies and cream milkshake because it's been a long day and uh, it's gonna be a late night of editing. So 
yeah, little dinner action here. All right, so I'm basically starting to edit the video you guys are watching right now. Just trying to get ahead of it. This is my next video I'm putting out. But a couple things I wanna note about how I'm docking it. One thing I kind of forgot to mention before is um, I'm using USB-C to plug straight into the monitor, and that's also actually keeping my MacBook charged. So I don't have to have MagSafe plugged in in addition, which is nice. So still I can just have one USB-C cable going from the monitor to the MacBook. It powers it and does the display, everything like that. So that is super nice. I have other stuff plugged into it right now because I'm actually just backing up footage onto a larger G drive that I have. Now, as you guys can see, the office is still kind of a mess. <laughs> I gotta be honest, but that's that's what happens when you try to crank out like two and a half videos in a single day. So it's just been a madhouse in here trying to get out all this new MacBook and AirPods content. But this is just a real true raw day in the life. It's not always super clean in here when I'm getting a lot of work done. I can clean up once these videos get out and that's just how it's going to be. All right. So winding down for the night, I'm actually now just editing some of the photos that I took um, at that coffee shop earlier today, just while I'm watching a little NBA on the TV over here. Sometimes I like just kind of disconnecting from the ultra wide, bring my MacBook over here, working a bit, just kind of switches it up a little bit. Maybe that's just mental, but it just kind of helps me. Now, before I wrap up this video, I figured I would share some of my thoughts of this 14 inch MacBook Pro now that I've kind of put it through its paces, at least with how I would use it over the past 24 hours. I've done a lot of photo editing. I've done a lot of video editing. I've watched content on it. I've done a lot of typing and I feel like I've kind of gotten a grasp on what this computer is all about. So I definitely have some thoughts on it. This is not scripted at all. So I'm just going to talk right off the top of my head. The first thing that comes to mind is just the overall body design of this MacBook Pro. I'm really, really happy I went with the 14 inch size. I touched on this before in another video, but I kind of fell in love with the 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro and just how portable this was. So the fact that the 14 inch dimensions are very, very similar to the 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro and you get more screen real estate, I think it's just the perfect size for me. And it definitely does feel bigger. To go along with that, the screen is super bright. The colors look awesome on it. And then diving more into the body, I definitely am happy to have the ports back, especially when I was at that coffee shop using the SD card. Honestly, I was using the SD card reader on this all day long and it's actually really quick. I don't think anyone's really noted that too much yet. And it's just nice to have all the different ports back. Also, I'm getting adjusted to not having the touch bar anymore, which I was not a fan of at all. So having the physical keys back, it's not a major thing, but it's something I'm definitely happy about. Now, a question that I definitely got over on Instagram when I was kind of teasing that I was filming you know, more content about this MacBook Pro, people were asking me how the battery life compared to the M1 uh, MacBook, which the battery life on that was really, really good. And I would say it's pretty damn similar. Um, I had it docked up most of the day, which is charging that entire time. So I can't put a whole grasp on, you know, like a travel day, but you know, I had it off the charge for multiple hours here when I was exporting the videos um, kind of fixing those problems with that YouTube video earlier today. So I did multiple exports on battery. I was editing photos. I took it to the coffee shop um, and I don't think it ever got below like 50% battery. So it's not like a scientific test, but I didn't really notice it dying super quick or anything like that. So I definitely would say the battery life seems pretty comparable to um, the M1, the 13 inch MacBook Pro. Oh, and one thing I do want to mention is that when I was exporting some of my videos, the fans would kick on. I know some people have said they They've never heard the fans kick on on their MacBook Pro yet, um, but I did. Now, I know there's a lot of talk about the 14 inch and is there like a throttling issue whenever you're exporting videos? I don't think you're ever gonna run into a throttling problem unless you're doing like crazy intensive stuff for really long periods of time. I mean, these computers are meant to have their fans turn on. That's not always a bad thing. So when I was exporting like a 10 minute video, it took about like six minutes, a little bit under six minutes and the fans kicked on for maybe like the last couple minutes of that. So I don't really think that's a big deal, but I. Think it's worth noting because some people you know are freaking out about the fan and is it throttling just because the fans turn on doesn't mean it's throttling it's just making sure that it won't throttle further down the line at least that's how i see it and then that kind of brings me to the last point is just the overall power on this i am editing footage that is really hard for your computer to handle. I'm filming on the FX3 right now. I have the Sony a7S III right here, which I've been using for a second camera angle. Both cameras are shooting 4K H.265 codec, 10-bit um, 422 color. And basically, if you don't know what all that means, it's a really highly compressed file type that's really hard for your computer to handle. So basically, there's a lot of detail and information your computer has to process when you're editing footage from cameras like this. And when I was doing those um, unboxing videos, you 
know, I had multiple layers, I had multiple LUTs going on, I had effects, I had overlays, text, motion graphics, you name it, I honestly had that in that project and it had zero issues. And then I would export a video and although it didn't really take too long to export, I would have, you know, Lightroom open, editing up a thumbnail, maybe Photoshop open as well. And seriously, nothing seemed to slow down. There was no hiccups at all. So it's not like a scientific stress test, but with what I've seen so far and how I edit a lot of my content and just my workflow, I think this is gonna be a game changer for me. I'm definitely gonna have to do some side-by-side -side tests from the M1 MacBook Pro to the 14 inch with export times and things like that. But I would roughly say some of these videos that I've been putting out would probably take my M1 13 inch MacBook Pro, like I would say 30 to 40 minutes to export. And these have been like between five and seven minutes on this. So yeah, guys, that's really it for my 14 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro day in the life video. I think this was kind of like a fun video for me to try out and just kind of take you guys along with me what a day looks like for me when I'm just creating content from literally I wake up till when I go to bed. That's not every day. Obviously I have a full-time creative job and I have a personal life and things like that. But I do love days like this when I can really just sit down, get some work done and just grind on this craft because I seriously love it. And this is just a really big game changer for me in my personal workflow. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know down in the comments below what you want to see about this MacBook Pro in the future. I definitely have a lot of videos planned for it but I always want to hear you guys' feedback and see what you guys actually want to see yourself. But guys, that's going to be it for me. If you stuck around this far into the video, I really appreciate it. You guys are just killing it with the support lately. The channel's in a good spot, and I just feel like I'm in the groove with these tech videos, and I'm just having a lot of fun making this type of content. But guys, that's going to be it for me in today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, will you please drop this video a thumbs up? If you're new around here, consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. It helps out me and the channel more than you can even imagine, and you don't want to miss any future uploads from me. With that being said, guys, I am out. I'll catch you in the next video very, very soon. Peace, guys.